Hello and welcome back to Technological Heritage, kind of an impromptu video here that, well, I decided to just make. Yes, I'm on my bed. <laughs> so yeah, kind of a low effort video. This is a 1950s, I want to say, New Tone Pushlight Model PB-8, a doorbell push button. Very cool. I got this at the ReStore. Paid 50 cents for it, which I kind of feel I overpaid maybe a bit. I mean, yeah, it's 50 cents, but no, no, I'm just kind of cheap. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because the price was stuck right over this little lump here, and also where it's all burnt and discolored, which kind of is a shame. Um, it's also cracked down the center. I don't mind the crack as much because it kind of blends in. The uh, ridge where it splits there is where it kind of bothers me. Um, man, yeah, there's a there's a cool doorbell. It came with all the uh, original hardware, and I do have the terminal screws out so I can pop the back off. Very high hours. Uh, you could replace this lamp card. You can send the old one to Newton with fifty cents, and they'd send you uh, a new one for this. So that's pretty cool. And I'm sure this at least had a few lamp cards put in it in its day based off of the uh, discoloration and malformation of what I want to say is like acrylic or something like that. I'll pop the lamp guard off here. Now, this lamp is dead. You can see, there you go. There's your little exhaust nib for the incandescent bulb. I think these are 6 volt. What I'm going to do is put a... Uh, a warm white LED with uh, a respective current limiting resistor for I think a 6 volt system. I think that's what doorbells use. I'm not sure. I need to do some more research. Our, our house actually doesn't have a doorbell. <laughs> now there's the inside. You can see how, how black in that is and chip taken out there. I'm sure the button works just fine. Nothing really wrong to go with that. Is that pastel yellow paint? <laughs> it's someone painted their house that. But yeah, this is very cool. You could stick your uh, a name tag in there. In fact, it says right there, name card. So you put that back on there. Yeah, I have a feeling this would have probably been mounted like this, so the light shines downward onto the button and um, onto your name card. I suppose you could mount it like that. I don't know, both ways it looks pretty neat. I think that way is the way to go. And yeah, original screws. And yeah, someone's kind enough to uh, put these little cardboard things for the screws to keep those with it. And obviously those are the terminal screws. But yeah, pretty cool. It's kind of a long-winded video, geez. Three and a half minutes, gonna be four minutes by the time I end it. Uh, thought I'd show this off, just because of how interesting it is, and I could only find one other picture of these online. Uh, probably was an old eBay listing or something, it was new in box. Um, this one is far from that, but yeah. Very cool nonetheless. Uh, and yeah, I figured I'd document that to share it with the rest of y'all. Uh, so, thanks for watching. I'll probably have more videos on uh, wiring devices and stuff like that. I don't know, would a doorbell button be considered a wiring device? I suppose so. But yeah, more to come, so stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching.